Welcome to Supercompute. I'm James Kilbride, Director of Technology for Cyber Systems at General Dynamics Mission Systems. We're building on the work that we did last year. So we've previously proven that you can take open source analytics frameworks and apply them to the space of HPC, running things like HAMA, MapReduce, and Spark on those systems. This year what we're doing is taking the ability to do that across multiple systems and tie those different frameworks together. Really providing an enterprise capability to our users uh, and enabling them to understand how those frameworks can best be used in their environment without having to worry about choosing one of them for any given use case. Each of them has their own uh, capabilities that are best in class for their different problems and this gives us a chance for them to use all of those for the purposes that they were meant for. At General Dynamics, research and development is part of our strategy for looking towards the future where our customers are going. And so across our portfolio, what we're doing with our research and development is looking at how the enterprise is changing as we have these different capabilities like high performance computing. It is a part of a, a strategy for creating uh, a more integrated view of what resources our customers have and enabling them to address their missions more quickly. So the issues that they have today deal with speed. Uh, speed of mission, the speed of which data is generated. Uh, Internet of Things, for example, will generate 400 zettabytes between now and 2018. That's an enormous amount of data for them to go and process. So by bringing the power of HPC, combining it with things like Commodity Cloud and better visualizations and technologies for the humans to interact with those systems, we can enable our customers to really leverage all the different resources that are in their enterprise. Our research and development is about that integration, how these different technologies play together and where they can be better utilized to meet their analytics missions. For us, research and development uh, is really about doing what hasn't been done before, integrating different things together, especially because of that enterprise approach to uh, the strategy that we've got. That means the teams have to be very diverse, both in background and in technologies. Um, they need to bring a focus on kind of what the customer's needs are uh, and bring those different capabilities and, and experiences that they've got. The other thing that we found is that technology is changing so rapidly and yet at the same time it's reinventing many things that have been learned before. So our teams really leverage both the expertise of our folks that have been doing high performance computing for over 30 years as well as the knowledge that our new hires bring of the latest technologies and capabilities and merge them together so that we're not repeating the past mistakes of the computing infrastructure and we're really coming up with innovative new solutions that kind of address those problems. General Dynamics Mission Systems, in particular the, the Cyber Group, is an organization that does both cyber defense products and systems design. We do exploitation capabilities, uh, developing techniques to uh, leverage vulnerabilities that exist within uh, commercial and uh, government systems. And we provide critical mission uh, support to our customers. So really, we look at where is the most critical information uh, in our targets, both our customers and their adversaries, and how do we get at or defend that information. Our research and development supports that, giving us a way to get there faster. Things like high performance computing allow us to take advantage of that speed to actually respond at the speed with which kind of their missions require us to, so we can get actionable uh, intelligence and information now to our users. A main focus of uh, what we're doing these days is to understand what is our customers' missions and how do all of their resources help them do that in a more uh, holistic and, and integrated fashion. So a lot of our work is in bringing together the different parts of what they already have and making that whole piece work together better. So how do I enable users to understand the information that the system has generated quickly um, how do I enable those different systems to communicate in an automated fashion without manual intervention? And how do I then respond based on uh, their needs and uh, capabilities and their policies in a way that is uh, much quicker than they are able to operate today? And so we start by focusing on those users and then we bring in our knowledge and technologies and expertise uh, to really integrate all of that together. Thank you for joining us here at Supercomputer. 
Uh, General Dynamics Mission Systems is proud to be here and be a part of this community, and we hope to see you here at the conference. Thank <laughs> you.